hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T, what's up Jonas? Oh, nothing, back, fully refreshed from our week off. Yeah, we took a week off. Yeah, a whole week. We, we went on vacation. It was it was the vacationiest. Are you going to talk about vacation at all on this uh, episode? Are sure, you? I right. can. We can talk about it. Yeah, I went to abroad. Yeah, the first time ever. Where did you go, Jonas? Well, tell the people on, at me, home. Let me tell everybody here how they can. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do do your. Thank you so pandering. much. I forgot you got <laughs> a sale. Watching shit. us live on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Crazy Town Media Live. If you're watching on a replay on YouTube, check us out. Crazy Town Media on YouTube. Or, of course, Crazy Town Media on Instagram, Twitter, and uh, the cornucopia of continuous information, <laughs> thecrazytown.com. That's right. Yeah. What? No, <laughs> dude. Why are you looking at me? I'm not looking at you at all. I don't know. Actually, I'm I... looking at you. That's a lie because I'm looking right at you. I don't know how to sell stuff. Yeah, but uh, no, I went abroad. I went over to uh, London and up to Scotland. Jonas went to freaking London. Yeah. It was London-y. I was... saw a bunch of cool shit, man. <laughs> yeah, what'd you see? Uh, Did you see Big Ben? It was covered up by scaffolding, but I saw it. Or were they like restoring yeah, it or something? Yeah, restoring it. Yeah, so like all the general shit. Buckingham Palace, uh, Tower of London, London Bridge. Yeah. Uh, went all the way out to Stonehenge. Yeah, you saw. Uh, yeah, so did you see the aliens? Yeah, they were there. They're cooking hot dogs. Okay, so that's, that, that's there a, a no. Lot of sheep there. <laughs> that's the Jonas way of saying no. I didn't when, see uh, the aliens. <laughs> uh, bath, the Roman bathhouse and bath where like Julius Caesar was kicking it, orgying it up. You can't like bathe there or anything. No, you? it's still like it still bubbles up and shit, but you can't do anything there. It's like it a natural bubbles? spring. So the water comes up from the a natural like pocket of Really? Yeah, absolutely. Huh. Yeah, uh they went to Scotland, went saw some castles, went to Loch Ness, hmm. the fucking Highlands, William Wallace's stomping grounds out in that area from Braveheart. I don't know who that is. Yeah, but anyways, uh some of the most beautiful scenery I've ever seen in my life. I bet. Yeah, man. That was just a quick synopsis. It was a great trip, had a lot of fun. Yeah. And I got to stay home. And get a vacation from Jonas. Yeah. <laughs> Double win. It was beautiful. I got to go somewhere. He got to not be around me. <laughs> so go figure. Uh, we uh, may honest- do a little more vacation stuff, but I figured we'd let that roll down the, the hill fine. a little bit. Honestly, Jonas, I missed you. Good guy. Oh, I miss you too, buddy. Well, welcome back. Oh, thanks. It was good to be home. You know, yeah. we hung out the best we do. Looked at each other, nodded heads yeah. on the way crossing the different ends of the Crazy Stone <laughs> yeah. compound. So we gave each other the look in the hallway. Yeah, just not head nod, you know that sort of shit. Right. But uh, yeah, man. So let's get rolling. It's been two weeks. We got two weeks of information. Yeah, well, yeah. We missed some, we missed some pretty big stories. Oh, uh, too. What do you got? You go first. I am gonna go first. Okay. After, and the first thing I want to do is I want to give a player salute to the man that uh, lost his life on March thirty first. Most people already know the story's cold by now, oh, but it's, it's, cold. it's still it's still a, a major thing in the, in the hip hop world and then just in the world in general. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, Armias Joseph, I do. I'm gonna butcher his name. Armias Joseph as Gedeon. Oh, what a good way to memor- get a memorial for <laughs> man. Dude, what's called by his Dude. professional name? All right, Nipsey Hussle there passed away. Uh, he was outside of one of his stores. We all know the story. He was outside of a store that he owned in the neighborhood, um, that he not only grew up in, but was uh, supplying furnitures to, uh, what do you call it? Upkeep. And, uh, he was resurrecting his neighborhood. Yeah. He was, like it was, uh, yeah. it used to be hood, right? Like real bad hood. And he's yeah, like, and he's it, like put money back into it. Yeah. You know, he, he's not like a trillionaire or anything, Bro. but he, what money that he did make from his businesses and his entrepreneurship, he was putting back into the neighborhood. He owned the shop, got into an altercation. I'm not going to give any energy to the dude that did it or any of the stories that have followed because there have been a lot of negative stories that have followed, but um, got into an argument with a guy. Guy went, got a gun, came back, shot him. Uh, he was with two of his friends, so it's not like he was even alone. It's just that it's just a shame that the guy decided that he that an altercation had to lead to him leading the violence. Yeah, man, it's really uh, sad when uh, 
you know, you, you come from a neighborhood that's like not very rich, you know, it's yeah, poor, yeah, yeah, it's hood. Yeah. And then you, you make something of yourself, you go back, you try to raise it up, you bring business in, you rebuild the community, and then some asshole shoots you in front of your store. Yeah. Like yeah. over some bullshit. Like, and and it, it's not, it's not even like a, I don't even know if it even equates to like a bad neighborhood thing or if it's just like, what the fuck is wrong with people? <laughs> oh yeah, dude. And like. I, Obviously, the guy had some mental disorders oh, yeah. that did it, and I just want—I just want to tell people: if you're having any mental issues, if you feel like you want to go shoot people, seek help first. Right, absolutely. And then you know, then make that decision. You know, yes, but yes. there's people out there going to help you. He was only 33 years old. Me and Jonas passed that age a while what ago. What do you mean? <laughs> so this is crazy. I couldn't even imagine dying like. Years what, ago, like one year ago, but <laughs> negative twenty two years ago. Probably, man. Yeah, man, hey. it's it's really sad because that people got to think like you know like if you had a problem with him, mm -mm. stand toe to toe with the dude and fucking put your fists up, man. Like be like if you have that big of a problem, you want to fight, well, what, but you feel you got to go get a gun and come back and shoot somebody. Yeah, yeah, it's it's it, it was sad, man. And oh. I guess I didn't like I've heard of him, I've never listened to his music, mm -hmm. but I guess I didn't realize I was reading about him. He was up for best rap album this year, he so was. he's hot. I it's mean, a he very, was, it's an excellent album. I've been listening to it in the car yeah, like all I mean, the time. He's not like an old artist. He's yeah. like present. You know, it's mm -hmm. you know he's just and, not as big of a name as say Drake or exactly. you know, somebody like but that. But he was he was on up and coming. He was only thirty three, and Jay Z's seventy seven. So yeah, yeah, he had know. more than enough time because you know your your lyric and as long as your mind's working, your lyrics can it can carry you on. Uh, for those out there who haven't. Go out and listen to Victory Lap right now. Is number one. Is that his newest? Streaming. That's his newest one. If you want to get into some of his old stuff, okay. I suggest a Slossin Boy Two, Jonas. That was the album that actually got me to start. Slossin Boy Two. Slossin Boy Two was the album right, that got me to start listening him to. to. If for some of the people may know, um, I would compare him to. He's kind of like a cross between Kendrick and Snoop. Okay. No, right, to be honest you. with you. But so he, so kind of like raw lyrics, but kind of flowy at the same time. Well, I would say that he has lyrical prowess, but he has like that, that old crip attitude of, that Snoop had. He was definitely, <laughs> look, he was definitely a crip. I'm not going to put that past him. I don't think the gang affiliation had yeah, anything nice. had anything to do with this. This was a guy who was in the same gang as him. And oh, shit. It was like he was he was a crip too? Yeah, yeah. And oh, it was wow. just it was just an altercation. But Nipsey had been in this hood since like he was a kid. Right, right, right. <laughs> no, no blood, no crip affiliation had anything to do with him having an altercation with a guy who was sick and coming to kill him. Oh Jesus! Yeah. But I'm wearing all blue today for oh, goddamn reason. <laughs> I'm tossing up signs. You're leaving it out there. I don't even give a fuck. Oh wow! Slossin Boy Two Victory Lap. Check that shit out. He deserves it, man. Big up to Nips. CIP. Wow. All right. Give him a CIP, Jonas. Yeah, CIP. God damn right. That's right. God damn right. Fucking, you know. That was gonna, the... I'm going to sea walk across the crazy town yeah. compound. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to see that. Uh, it, would be, oh, it would be epic. All right. But that was the sad story. Now we're going to get into some crazy town bullshit. Well, I mean, it's also a sad story. You got so. another sad story? Every story we talk about is sad. Not all of them. A lot of them. I've got sad. a happy story after this one. Trust all right, me. cool. So, have you ever eaten a food in a restaurant before? Have I ever eaten a food in a restaurant before? Yeah. <laughs> have you ever, See, you ever done that? You know what, Jonas? We share the story. <laughs> I'm going I'm to run them behind the scenes. We share the story. God damn, you ruined my... <laughs> I'm ruining it? You're ruining it. How am I ruining it? Because it was going to get good. All right, fine. I'll, I'll play along. Play along. All yeah. right. Uh, yeah, Jonas. Sure, I've eaten food. You're supposed to say, yes, Jonas. Of oh, okay. course, I've eaten... <laughs> you got you to gotta placate me. Yes, man. Jonas. I've eaten <laughs> food in a restaurant. <laughs> Has anyone ever paid your bill for you? Paid I, it forward? I didn't know we had a script either. Um, There's no script. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> You're waiting for my skip, scripted responses. <laughs> um, have you ever anybody pay it forward with you? Like in any way, shape, or form, restaurant, anywhere? Has anyone ever like... No, Jonas, I'm a male. I don't have boobs or anything. That's true. Not a lot, I guess, I guess. You know, side note, my grandmother told me maybe like two or three years ago that she was at a gas pump in mm -hmm. our hometown mm -hmm. 
pumping gas, and someone walked up and said, I paid for your gas. Pay it forward. Even grandma boobs work, apparently. Even grandma <laughs> boobs work. As long as you got boobs out there, you're getting some for free. Yeah. <laughs> so there was a man. His name was Craig Brewer. He's 41 years old. Yeah. He decided to go to a Waffle House, and guess where this happened? Florida. Florida, Florida man. Of course, Florida man. This wasn't the Florida man, though. This was the Good Samaritan. He walked into a Waffle House. Well, both of them were Florida men. They yeah. were both Florida men, yeah. yeah. One good, one bad. Yeah. So he decides, you know what I'm going to do today? He must have had a little extra scrill. He must have hit a lotto ticket, something. A little extra scrill. Yeah, you know. How... He had a little extra money in his wallet, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so he decides to go to Waffle House. Where else would you go? Starts handing out $20 bills. Jonas, Can't... first off, I want to ask you, have you ever eaten at Waffle House? Ooh. This isn't this isn't a hard question. I don't maybe. If I have it's been like one time. Waffle House is goddamn amazing. Let me tell you, Waffle House is goddamn well, there amazing. There wasn't one in our hometown. One popped up not long before I'm I left well aware. and I stayed the fuck away. Why? Have you been to our hometown? Yeah, but it's Waffle House. I know House. I'm just fucking around. I just <laughs> I think I've eaten at one. I'm not a big fan of waffles. They don't have waffles. Oh my god, you've never eaten at a waffle house. That proved it. They don't have waffles. <laughs> that just proved they it. They don't right have waffles. Yeah, they have waffles, but nobody goes there for the waffles. Well, it's like I hop. I don't like pancakes. <sighs> All right, continue the story. Anyway, I'm done. You've eaten at waffle house. <laughs> That's like you only go to Burlington Coat Factory to get coats. I want to see bad comments for this man. Oh, dude, it's cool. No, nah, give him hate. He deserves anyway, it. Anyway, so he's like. Hey, I'll go hand out 20s. I mean, that covers a meal at Waffle House. It's fairly inexpensive. Handing out, breakfast. handing out money at the Waffle House. What could go wrong? So he, uh, and then mind you, this is all caught on Waffle House security cameras. Oh, yeah. So all of a sudden, he starts arguing with a female patron on camera. Mm -hmm. And then next thing you know, some, some young man runs out, runs back in with a gun, and shoots him in the fucking head. Right? It, it, it like, the article said it went from, like, Zero to a hundred in like a real minute. quick. Like it was like, oh, we're t we're having words. Shoot you in the head. Yeah. So he was having an altercation with the man's. He was I guess, a twenty-five year old man who there, was with the woman. There was a woman. Yeah. And with the man there, and he had an altercation with the woman. Yeah. Because apparently he didn't pay for her meal. Yeah, she was mad that he didn't give her money, so yeah. she started shit with him. Yeah. And then her boyfriend or acquaintance. Shot him in it, 25-year-old dude, the rest of his life, in prison. What I don't understand, Jonas. Uh, there's a lot about this I don't understand. What I don't understand. What's that? Is why we got to shoot because he got into an altercation, man. Man. Is it like, at this point, okay, it's 100% the kid that shot the guy, all right? Right, right, right. He wasn't even involved in the altercation. Yeah, it's 100% that guy. Right. But did did the girl like participate? You know, no, never mind. Never mind. I don't even want to. I don't even. The guy's an asshole that did this. That's well, all here, I meant. Here's the other thing. I don't want to speculate. How dare she get mad that he didn't give her money? Dude, like, I don't know. Seriously, like you ever know. been somewhere and like someone like gave someone else something and didn't give it to you? Yeah, I yeah. Keep, I keep going on with my life. Right. Right, dude. I feel like you're at a basketball game. The NBA player throws his fucking mouthpiece to a kid in the crowd. You walk up and punch a kid in the face because he got the <laughs> mouthpiece and you didn't. Have I ever... Little bitch. <laughs> like, I mean, come on, dude. <laughs> you you just asked a minority, have you ever been somewhere and somebody else got something and you didn't? No, Jonas. This wasn't a race thing. I, I know, but I can make it one, goddamn. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> Continue. Well, I mean, that's really all I have. Is I just, it? like, that's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's the basic story. This dude tried to be a good person mm. and lost his life because someone felt slighted. Yeah, I kind of wonder what prompted him to do that. Like, To you... give out money? Yeah. He was probably just feeling generous, man. He may... Maybe he just got his tax return back. Maybe yeah. he... Maybe he fucking used to go to that restaurant all the time and, like, he was just trying to give back to the people. Like, Nipsey, dude, trying to give back. And, you know, and, Jonas, this is the thing that it, that it precipitates in me, at least. Okay. It makes me think, like, I don't like going out in public as it is. <laughs> you definitely don't. I don't really like, commu I, I don't like communicating with people I don't know. Right. And, I mean, these stories are definitely, like, they're uh, vindicating that, that whole ideal. And it's like if you go out and you're trying to do something nice for people or even like being a fixture in your community that's doing positive yeah. things or even Absolutely. going to the goddamn Waffle House and paying for people's food, 
this kind of shit can still happen to you. Yeah. The streets is done, man. The streets is done. All right. <laughs> streets is done. Speaking of race and streets. What are we talking about? I got about? a rollover. I got another update for your man. You do you? Yeah. That's not my man's. I gave him to you. Dude, I ain't taking him. You have to take him, Jonas. We traded. Smollett. All right, fine. It was less like on the Chappelle show, the fucking race, racial draft. Yeah, we, trading. we already made that joke. First episode. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Almost tapped you on the leg, dude. That oh, would have yeah. that would have been weird. Uh, he, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the joke's exactly. on him, I don't have any pants on, so. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so anyways, as we talked about numerous episodes of this podcast, mm-hmm. Jesse Smollett uh, supposedly, allegedly paid people to do a hate crime on him for notoriety, etc. He was going to face fucking 40 years in jail. All of a sudden, they drop all the charges against him. Wasn't worth it, essentially. Right. It wasn't so worth it. So now the cops were like, Hey, uh, hey, buddy, old pal, you wasted a lot of our time and resources on this fake story. Mm-hmm. You should reimburse us the $130,000 we had to spend to f- investigate your crime. It is funny how the police force is basically saying that he lied about it right. without saying it. Right. Because the case files were sealed, right. so they can't say right. he did it, but they're saying it by suing you. Right, and he goes, <laughs> he's like, nah, fam, I'm good. He's like, I'm not going to pay that. So now they got to take him to civil court. Or he could just pay it. I mean, he should just pay it. He should probably I mean, just pay basically, it. He, I mean, he had to pay his bond to get out of jail, but I think he should have to pay 130 k to not to not go to jail for 40 years. That's 140 k total, yeah. but you did lie. Yeah, for, he was facing like 48 years. That's like 20 k a year. Yeah, he wait, wasn't going to get that. He wasn't going to get 40 years, though. He wasn't All he did was file a fake fil- police report. That's they community service. He did the community service. He did the community service. Oh shit. He did. Well, not everybody's a hero. Update on uh the Lori Laughlin. Oh, and Becky. Aunt your Becky. What's your secret? So it appears is that uh, some of the trials are wrapping up and these people are making plea deals. On the lower end, I can't remember, I think it was like fifty thousand dollars that one family had paid. I don't remember the exact exact yeah. uh intricacies of the whole thing. Yeah. But uh minimum two years in prison. For all of them? For the people on the lower end. Now, like I said, this was a family that had contributed, I think it was like 50, but Lori Laughlin's family had contributed like upwards around $500,000, which means that the minimum could go up a little bit. Now, there's a good chance with with the lawyers that they have that they're going to get- And uh, that they're famous and rich. I mean, come on. With, yeah, like the, real. yeah, with the money and the lawyers that they have yeah. at their disposal, yeah, that it will probably be a little bit less, maybe no jail time at all. But as it stands right now, these people are making plea deals for two years in prison, which means that if they weren't to make a plea, <laughs> they're going to wait for yeah, a while, dude, dude. It's gonna be bad. So there you go. You get just desserts. Man. Just, just, just desserts for fucking. They ain't get no desserts in prison unless they're looking for fraud. some sort of. Other kind of dessert. What kind of dessert? Somebody's getting dessert, but it ain't going to be them. Cream pie. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Whip dessert. So that's a little update. On update. Your, on your face. All right. Who is, is it my turn? It's your turn, man. Is it my turn? To, I just had to roll into the updates real quick. All right, man. No more sad shit. All no, right? dude. I got... Hold on. Do I got... Oh, dude, I don't have anything that's not sad. Well, just you save your sad shit for last. Dude, I can't... Okay. <laughs> Be, Everything we'll, is sad and depressing. We'll just be we'll just be sad. But my cool. story my story is not sad. Oh, dude. It is informative. I love it. How do you feel about dubstep? Um You don't like it. I'm not surprised. Okay. You listen to ICP. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not even lying. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? He owns a riddle box shirt. Oh anyway. it, it, yes, I wear it every Sunday. Show him your hatchet man tattoo right now. You don't? Dude, I don't have a Hatchet Man tattoo. Are you sure? I'm 100% sure. I don't sure. know. Okay. Well, anyway. <laughs> All right. So, But you know what dubstep is. Oh, yeah. And uh, apparently, Sonny Moore, better known as Skrillex, is in the news right now. Oh, Skrillex. Yeah. I know him. There was a new scientific study that I think used, I saw something about this. That used his music in, in a case study. Essentially, um, it appears that mosquitoes... Do not like Skrillex music. <laughs> I did see this. <laughs> I saw that. Yes. Did you? All right. Yes, so, yes. So there was a study where they put 50 female mosquitoes, one male mosquito, 
and a very unfortunate hamster in a box and they put them in there and no music. Mosquitoes are just fucking and sucking. Wow. Just They're uh, fucking. Fucking and sucking the hamster. Woo, 50 on one? <laughs> dude. <laughs> dude I, I, it's a weird porno, dude. I'm not into that shit. Maybe you are. 50 on one. <laughs> Woo, that guy was tired. So anyway, no music. Fucking and sucking, right? Okay. They put on Skrillex music and the mosquitoes were not only fucking, but also sucking five times less than what they were without the music. Wow. What what it is is that the mosquitoes seem to have a hard they use sound to like line up to fuck. Oh, okay. Oh, and okay, I gotcha. Okay. It seems that I can't remember the name of the song, the song it was. Uh, Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites. By Skrillex, which I've honestly I've never heard. I'm I not gonna lie. I, I mean, I've probably heard a few of the songs. I couldn't tell you. But which it's which. it's a fucking. From what I hear, it's crazy. It's like there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's still musical, and I'm not taking away from his talent. But it's just, it's a crazy fucking song. Okay. So the mosquitoes actually have trouble being able to fuck. It basically turns them into incels. They oh. they don't they don't want to fuck, and they just don't even want to deal with the women. Nor do they eat as much. No coits. This mask is giving me some drop. It's a beard. I'm growing a beard. Anyway. You had a beard. I grew it. It's growing. It's coming back. You have a beard right now. Look at your mask. It's a nice beard. Thank you, Jonas. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate it. I try to make myself look pretty for you. Oh, <laughs> you're so sweet. <laughs> so it appears as that if you're having a trouble with mosquito, you know, Jonas, I've noticed that in Texas, there's not a big mosquito problem. Yeah, it's so dry. But the mosquito hawks also. Skeeter hawks. Or the, what are they Canadian called? Canadian soldiers. Mayflies or Canadian soldiers if you're a northerner. Because yeah. that's what we always call yeah, them. Yeah, that's what we call them too. They handle a nice degree of the mosquitoes. They eat mosquitoes? Yeah, they're called mosquito hawks. They eat mosquitoes. Oh, skeeter hawks because they skeeter the hawks. They hawk they, the they hawk the, they hawk the skeeters. They're like, if they're like an owl, they're all like, <laughs> they fucking come down and they fucking eat But <laughs> if you're having a problem with mosquitoes, Put some fucking Skrillex on, man. I don't know if it's just... Boy, it's... that's a... <laughs> nice Sunday night barbecue. Everybody! <laughs> yeah. Strawberry mosquitoes out here. Don't light a citronella. <laughs> like, that. no one will ha have any coitus that night in the whole street. I was gonna say, also, funny enough, man and female... <laughs> man and female... Male and female also have trouble fucking the Skrillex music. Fuck the dumb stuff in general? Yes. It'd be like... Would, would it be hard? It'd be like, you're just waiting for the beat to drop. You're all like, <laughs> just like slow stroking. And all of a sudden, it's like... Burr, burr, burr. It's like... I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Is that me building up to orgasm? <laughs> they, like, they always have to wait for the beat to drop. That's just like... Boom. dee 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, no, nah, keep going. Uh, <laughs> I like this visual uh, visualization of dubstep. You got to the feed or on YouTube to see this visual oh, shit. Oh, my sweet Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, I think that I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. I wonder how Skrillex feels about it. Um, I don't know. He's back in the news again. He wasn't cute. I wouldn't say he's cold, but, you know. Yeah, he got Like, hurt. dubstep is not nearly as uh, popular as it was Boy, when it first go hit figure. the scene. I like dubstep. Do you? Yeah. How many dubstep CDs you have? None. Okay. <laughs> That's a good. I mean, well, I, 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 I like. I have a lot of none of a ca category too. <laughs> Ask me when the last time I listened to dubstep. I have a. I have a big. I have a big country music collection. I love it. Zero. <laughs> Zero CDs. You know how much I love country music country. is good. Love Nas X, God damn it. Oh, that, that song's very nice. Uh, that's that's, my, that's my, a third one. My point one. is, yeah. if you own zero albums, you can't say that like you listen to it. I never said I didn't listen. I never said I listened to it. I said I, just said I said I like dubstep. Uh, uh, if somebody put some dubstep on, I'm not going to be like, turn this shit off. I'll oh, be dude, like, all right. About anything. I'll be like, all right, let's, let's hear it. Let's just, let's nice just... soothing sounds of fucking. Do, 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 do. Yeah, dude, like robots fucking. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> robots fucking. That's what it's like. Huh, funny enough, toasters and microwaves, no problem fucking a dubstep. Dude, yeah. I've seen that a million times. Exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, you know. All right. Anyway. All right, dude. Go on. So they found out that, I mean, this is a shocker. Bad diets are killing people. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> right? But what they've said that was kind of alarming, they did a study. Pardon me. Bad diets are responsible for more deaths now than just about anything else. Tobacco. Like, it's like tobacco isn't. 
What? What are you? Uh, yeah. are you throwing your arms up? Because yeah, no, no duh. I don't know. Dude, tobacco used to kill a bunch of people. Yeah, but heart disease is the leading cause of death in America. Yeah, and that mostly is a, a diet oriented yeah, disease. Yeah, <laughs> but what? Here's what surprised me about right, the study. Go ahead. I don't want to take the wind out of your. Oh, sails. dude, my sails are deflated. All right. They, I'm like a little. I'm like a little fucking. You know that bag. <laughs> from that movie that floats around the air you know what I mean <laughs> it, a beautiful stranger beautiful mind a beautiful no dude I don't know I know what movie you're I'm talking a, about inflated sale. it's beautiful something it's uh, American Beauty American Beauty yeah that guy's like oh it's so beautiful it's like that except for like if he caught it and he burned it and threw it on the ground and stomped in a puddle that's how you feel <laughs> Sure. Are you going to shoot me? <laughs> no. Yeah, I hope I'm just not. Stand Jesus. outside your bedroom door with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> Turnabout's fair play. I know, right? Anyways, here's what surprised me about this study. It says it's not so much the bad food that we eat, mm. it's the foods that we do not consume that are causing the problem. We so, don't eat enough vegetables. So it's like, yeah, people aren't eating enough vegetables, fruits, nuts, and legumes. So that so what they're saying is you sh it shouldn't be a campaign of eat less salt, eat less sugar, eat less fat. It should be a campaign of eat more vegetables, eat more fruits, eat more whatever. Because if you eat a solid fast food diet, how much lettuce or vegetables are you getting? Yeah. And how true. many people nowadays eat a solid fast food diet? Dude, three meals a day, fast food. And they're like, oh, it's cool. I had a salad from McDonald's, which has as much sugar as a goddamn milkshake. They put sugar in their lettuce? Oh, dude. Yeah. McDonald's salads are bad for you. Like, fast food salads, you might as well not even eat them, dude. What do you get lettuce? Yeah. What's on it that's bad? That's subjective. How can you wait? How can you fuck lettuce up? Why don't you look up McDonald's salads? I mean, look, I understand the dressing. Yeah, well, I yeah. understand that the cheese, which is just terrible anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, lettuce and beans and shit? Yeah, dude, they, they aren't good for you, man. What? Slap my leg and call me a liar. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm just having a hard time understanding where to, where, to, where you can fuck lettuce up. Like they add something to the lettuce, or they put, or they inject like beef tallow into the lettuce or some shit. They're just, they make the salad, they take some sugar, they just sprinkle some sugar on it. They're like, you know what? I wonder, it's so goddamn good. Uh, yeah, right? No, but dude, so like, I feel this man because it's easy to get into a habit of not eating any of that stuff, and yeah. then like next thing you know, it said that basically. Since people aren't eating these things, they're yeah. having heart attacks, they're having strokes, <laughs> fucking, they're getting type 2 diabetes. You know? <laughs> Wilford Brimley said it best. <laughs> what? what? Why are you looking at me like that? What did Wilford Brimley say? He said, I have diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> I hate it when it's uncomfortable when I cough. <laughs> That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> I hate a painful calf. Oh yeah, he had those lubed up. <laughs> you gotta lube that calf up nice before you, <laughs> you use it on a me. Lubed up calf by Wilfred. I have one hundred percent lubed up a calf. <laughs> oh yeah, I know you have. But uh, so uh, it's like basically diet is basically accounting for like almost eleven million deaths a year. Yeah, I could high blood that. pressure is ten and a half million. What's, uh, heart, what's heart disease at? Is uh, that on your list? The, it's, it, I think high blood pressure is kind of where it's at. And then, so it's basically higher than even heart disease, really. Because, uh, and then tobacco's at like 8 million. Well, there's been a giant campaign to get rid of tobacco. Exactly. There's been a movement to get rid of tobacco in this country, which, I mean, you know, fine. It is, it's murdering people. Yeah, it is. But it's addictive. What? It's basically legal crack. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, it never doesn't get you high. And, and yeah, it's kind of crazy how tobacco's legal, which kills eight million people here. But how many, how many times has a joint killed somebody? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how many times. Never. Oh. Because it doesn't. Oh. Well, I mean, what? just the fact of smoking it. I mean, can't you get cancer from smoking joints? Funny enough, Jonas, I did a I did a college paper on this, much to the chagrin really? of my college professor. She didn't want me to do it. She was like, do not do a paper on this. I was like, I'm fucking doing a paper on it. I got an A too, goddammit. But tobacco smoke I mean, uh tobacco smoke reaches different parts of your lungs than marijuana smoke does. And Why's that? I don't know. It's okay, something in the makeup. But either way, it does not reach the parts that would cause cancer. Really? So Smoking marijuana 
will not give you lung cancer. Mouth cancer, maybe. Not lung cancer. Uh, or if you chaw it, you put it in your lip. You Who the it. fuck puts weed in their lip? You're just going to take a nug and just like... <laughs> just chaw it up, Just dude. take a bundle of seeds and... <laughs> Can you imagine? No. People just start fucking chawing on fucking. Ew. They just put a big old fucking fat nugget in their mouth and just, Ew. just spit in a bottle. <laughs> you can probably swallow that chaw. Yeah, yeah. I don't uh, know if I'm good on that. Yeah, though, I don't think I'd be good on that. I don't either. think I'm good on that. All that's, right, man. That's crazy. All right, so people are out there dying. Eat better at home, kids. Like you've never heard this shit before. Yeah, right, but eat vegetables. Okay. I don't <laughs> Jonas like, basically just had a long way to way of telling you to eat your vegetables. I don't like vegetables neither. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> the fruits are good, dude. Fruits are I don't good. like vegetables neither. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. That's oh, okay. You got it. Keep going. What? It's okay. That's now good. say what you had to say. Oh, eat fruit. Okay. Yeah. Good and job. Make sure you eat all that nut. Now, Jonas. Yeah, I, dude. I played a song for you the other day. Did you? Called Old Town Road. Oh, by, uh... By Lil Nas X, oh, yeah. who I don't agree with his name at all. His name ain't Nasir, it's some other bullshit. Why the fuck you're Nas and X? DMX is a whole legend. Nas is a whole legend. The little needs to be retired. Your whole name is fucked. Wow. The song fucking slaps. Yeah. You, did, did you like it? I did! It is a song that is done, and it's in a country it's a country western song yeah but i it, would say it's like you it's, asked me what i thought i said i think country music when i hear this yeah i think country music too because everything in the song is basically country but the beat is it's a rap ish beat yeah, it has it, 808 it has some twangy in it too. yeah it does it yeah. has a banjo in it yeah there's it's some twang so the problem was and this is an old story too but fuck it we didn't talk about it so we're talking about yeah, it yeah just because it ain't happening it was charting good. extremely high on the country music charts. Billboard decided to remove the song from the country music charts because they felt that it did not embody what is a country music song. Right. Now, and, and you know who Billboard is? What? Probably like some old white dude sitting behind a desk. Oh, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> now, at first I was like, well, this ain't really a country song, so I could see why they would do that. But then... It was brought to my attention of why people were actually angry about this. And if you're wondering why people even care, because, you know, it's obviously like a rap song. Yeah. Is that in rap music, anybody can come in. You right. can you can be Justin Bieber from fucking Canada and you can put out a song where you rap in it. It's going to chart on the rap charts. It's going to chart on the pop charts. It's going to chart. You know, and it's never been a question. There's, oh, there's plenty of people who rap music just, sure, if you want to rap, if you're a country music singer and you want to rap, it's going to chop on. Right now, that song by Lil Nas X has, uh, don't break my heart, Mikey, break oh, your heart. Uh, Billy Ray Cyrus. Billy Ray Cyrus did a verse on the song Michael's for the remix. Too. Yeah, it is. It it is. Is. So <laughs> Billy Ray's verse is kind of better than Lil Nas uh, X. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, you should check but, it out. It, it's good. But... And it's charting, and everybody in, in in the rap community is like, good job, Billy Ray. You know? It's not a problem to let a country singer in. And it was just kind of like, why does it have to be exclusive for country? And I understand that country is one of, one of the older forms of music in this country. Yeah. And it is kind of an elitist community. Yeah. Like, they ain't going to let they just let anybody. In. They let Hootie in, but, you know, he wasn't really making rap music. <laughs> he's been like, I don't know all they were true. Yeah, he's making some like. But it's, it's just kind of crazy. Like, even uh, Post Malone. Like, uh, he he has a, a, a strong country background. He's even alluded to making country music on an album. Just okay. making a country album. And even on some of his albums, he has country sounding songs. Okay. But yet he still charts on the pop charts. Did they ever on the let rap Kid charts. Rock go on country? Because he went, he got pretty twangy near the end of his show. Oh, yeah. Man. I think he's considered now. He's pretty. Now yeah. he's like country? Yeah. He plus, went from like rap to country. He was on TV with Trump and all that shit. So really? he's country. Oh, yeah, dude. Well, they were hanging out? <laughs> Jonas, man. <laughs> you need to get out more. Dude, I get out all the time. <laughs> But uh, the, I see, like, after I heard it kind of put to, put to me like that, I understood is that it is kind of fucked up that they're not letting this song, which is clearly country, in. and it's 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 easily consumable. There's no profanity or anything oh, in yeah, the song. Oh, yeah, it's a very, like, chill-ass song. Yeah, it's... Yeah. So, if anything, pop charts, country charts, rap charts, I guess, 
it's a it's a it's an amalgamation and this ain't even the first time that this has been done yellow wolf has been doing this for years and i fuck with yellow wolf his last album not so good yeah. but goddamn it i do love yellow wolf fucking bubba sparks there's <laughs> <laughs> and there's, uh, there's been other country artists who have done rap songs. Yeah. What was Honky Tonk with Donkey Donk? That's basically a goddamn rap song. Wow. Honky Tonk with Donkey Donk. Remember the alcoholic energy drink Sparks? It was orange. <laughs> Speaking of which. All right. Totally off subject. But yeah, go ahead. You remember no, that? No. Oh, okay. Well, the Sparks, man. <laughs> Didn't Uncle Cracker do some fucking country sounded shit? Why are you shaking your head at me, dude? Streets is done. Streets is done, dude. Because <laughs> of Bubba Sparks? No, I don't know. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of bring that up. So, I don't want to, like, incite outrage, but it is a little fucked up of how elitist <laughs> that country music has to be where they won't let yeah, man. somebody do a country song with a little bit of a twist, and they won't let it chart. Yeah, oh. You know, it's the only, like, genre that, yeah. like, has stayed pretty pure like i mean countries kind of like countries went like pop country rock country yeah you know things yeah. like that classic country but they've never let rap into country no like, sometimes like the rap the country guys will talk really fast and they want to like pretend it's yeah. rap but it's not rap like yellow wolf has had like winona Ryder and like just like some country legends on some Would of the songs steal a beat no, she, is that what she does? Winona Ryder's an actress. No, no, Winona Judd. Oh, I'm okay. Sorry. Oh, I, she was a fe the theft girl. That's all I was just saying. Excuse me. Okay, Winona Judd, I meant. Oh, okay. On some oh. songs and like some country legends, man. And it's got... Vega Conway Twitty on there? No. Oh, dude, the Twitster. I don't know Twitster. if he's even alive anymore. I think he died. Maybe. If not, Twitty, shout out. But yeah, I don't know. He's always charted on rap charts. I mean, not really charted because he's not charting. Yeah, but, oh, dude. but it's obviously a rap song. Yeah, he's yellow wolf. But I don't know. Um... So, uh, go out and listen to the song. I'm sure you already heard it. It's all over fucking TikTok. Justin Bieber hyped it up. Oh, wow. It's making big moves out there. All right. Jesus. Rap country. Dude, I would listen to country rap, I think. Billy Ray invited to the cookout. Dude, I would listen to country rap. Would, I think I would. Would you? I think so. May I suggest you listen to Yellow Dude, Wolf? Dude, I've, I've tried to listen to Yellow Wolf numerous times. He's got a new. Well, he has a new one out. I don't really care for it. It's uh, it's dude, not that good. It, he he kind of left the whole country. He's to be too then. many different things. <sighs> all right, if you say so, I love him. I mean, you can love Yellow Wolf all day. Love Story is highly underrated. Really? Yeah, I love that album. I oh. still listen to it. It came out like seven okay, years ago. Okay, I'll listen to it. I'll give it one more shot. Mm -hmm. You've been telling me about Yellow Wolf for a while. Because I like them. All right. New album's trash, though. Oh, um, well, you know what? I'll end with a positive story, too. Real quick. It's a quickie. Do you have a positive story? I do. Sometimes I'm a liar, too. Don't worry. All the time. <laughs> Only on Sundays and every day in between. That doesn't make sense because that's the <laughs> one day. Anyways. <clears throat> how do you feel about CBD oil, man? I don't know much about it. I know that okay. it's basically like T8. It's basically weed without the THC, right? Yes. Um, basically, well, it know. is. Uh, it gives you it. all the properties and relaxes your body, but it doesn't get you high. Mm -hmm. So basically, it, it has great medicinal uses for like people who have like seizures or things like that. Any mm -hmm. sort of, or you have like a multiple sclerosis, you know, all those sort of like body debilitating things. And uh, it has been – CBD oil has been legalized by the government to be used in products, mm. which is great. That's why they have CBD oils and all – you see you, sh you see shit everywhere. But the main issue is the FDA, <sighs> the Food and Drug Administration, has not lifted its restriction. Hmm. So, it, so major corporate companies cannot infuse CBD oil into any of their products legally yet. Oh, so there's a lot of like, I don't know if I like this there's idea, a lot of actually. startups that are, have come out and put out CD, CBD products regardless. Cause they're, I think they're kind of like those. It's legal though to sell. Cause there's shops yeah, in town that sell yes, that but shit. If you're, but you can't sell it in food as being like oils and things like that. You can't consume it due to FDA regulation. Huh. But May 31st coming up here in a, what, about two months. Yeah. The FDA is going to have their first public hearing to consider releasing their ban on putting CD, CBD oil in food product. Huh. So could you imagine in no. the near future, cannabis Coca-Cola, fucking drink down a little Coke, get a little sip of See now, I have to admit, Jonas, is that 
I don't know how I feel about that. Why? Because I'm all about the legalization of non of, of yeah, well, marijuana and yeah, non-harmful narcotics. And this ain't even a narcotic. No, I it's guess. not. It doesn't. But it just seems kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Dude, could you imagine fucking CBD pop tarts? Like you just fucking. <laughs> Well, here's the problem. Here, here's my question. Yeah, though, if it's about this. all fun and games until somebody fucking like finds out it like makes you crazy or something. Oh, dude, I don't know. Soil the greenest people. Um, no, but here's well, here's what I'm questioning: mm -hmm. is if you go to like one of these CBD stores, it's not cheap. No. And they're like, oh, you want to take it 19 times a day? It's only 19 dollars a pill. Here, about 400 dollars a month, you can be CBD'd up. Well, oh, you can get like the pens, and they're like. uh they yeah. range from like a hundred dollars. Yeah, to, but to like for someone who like 60. needs it all the time, it's expensive. Yeah. But so like, what are they? If they if like major companies start putting it in, you got like CBD Cheez Its. They're gonna be twenty two dollars a box. <sighs> See, this is this is my problem, Jonas. I don't know really like what it just like makes me feel, it makes me feel uneasy. It makes government? me it makes me feel uneasy that they're gonna start injecting this shit into your food. Or injecting it into your drinks. No, but I don't think it'll be every one. I think it'll be special branded. I don't know if it's my idea of, like, the major corporation doing this. And okay. Just, like, another way to market shit to us. I don't know if that's what bothers me. Uh-huh. Is the idea of the unknown about what effects this could have on people. I don't know. It it's just all makes, natural. It, I understand, but it just makes me uneasy a little bit. Okay. And like, I, I think you're looking at it from the standpoint of it's a precursor to legalizing... Uh, marijuana itself. Oh, no. I mean, I just, it's nice that people could, like, get more help. That shit will help people, man. CBD helps people. Yeah, but they can get it. Nothing, nothing's stopping them from getting it. Oh, I guess, yeah, I guess that's true. It's opening up a whole new market, so corporations exactly, can make Exactly, dude. Oh, so it's more of, like, lobbying for corporations to make exactly. more money. Exactly. That's where I get the uh, uneasiness. Like, you. if you need the CV oil, CBD oil, it's out there. Go fucking get it. Why do you do need we really need, really need it injected into a fucking muffin? No, we don't. Right, right, right. That's right. not necessary. That's right. just fun. It's just fun. <laughs> it's like, hey, yeah, pop tarts, yeah, you know? yeah. and that's exactly where your mind went. It was like pop tarts and Coca Cola. I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? I don't need this. Just give me, just let me smoke it or something. Or you let just me... actually just put a drop on your tongue it's, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. let me just do that. Why do I have to have it in fun ways now? Is it like a Milky Way with yeah, a CBD dude. stick in the middle exactly, of it. Exactly, dude. It's weird. I don't, okay, I don't like it. I get you. I don't. I don't. I Call me you. an asshole. I don't like it. Don't TNT think, says no. I don't think you're an asshole. All right. Well, I like your point of view. All right. That's why I do this with you to hear it. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know. I try to have some good points. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, but you know what? what? That is all the time we have for today's episode. Are we done? We are done. Are you serious? Yeah. God, don't even hate you yet. I know, right? <laughs> I we want to thank everyone who watched today. I actually like you. Want to thank you if you're listening on a. On Spotify, if you're listening on My iTunes, notes. if you're listen, watching this on YouTube, thank you very much for checking us out. We very much appreciate you. So make sure you check us out. If you aren't watching live, Twitch TV, twitch.tv forward slash crazy town media live on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram under crazy town media, and also the cornucopia yep, get of it continuous out. information. Get it out. Crazytown.com. But for Jonas. But for TNT Dynamite, we'll see Fantastic you next week. Slossy we Boy 2, Nipsey Hustle, Victory Lap. Out.